All right, and for the final mode, we're gonna go to sport mode and uh, see how fast it goes here. It should haul pretty fast. Hey guys, Chris and Alan Tech here. How's it going? It's actually a pretty sunny day today, so I thought I'd uh, take the morning and a couple speed runs with the DJI Spark. I always wondered like what the different modes are and how fast they go. So I'll be taking you guys out on that adventure. But it's, it's sunny out there, so definitely hydrate, drink some water. That's a bell. Bell? Oh boy. Go potty. All done? Up. Oh boy, my son. Oh boy. Oh, almost forgot my water bottle. Ah. Get my trusty shoes on. Okay. Oh, my drone down. Oh, I really gotta find my car mount. Nobody here. Let's back up. All right, so I was really worried about the weather. It is cloudy out there, but I should be able to make my passes. Today, we're just gonna go to the park, our local park, nothing too fancy. Just to see, you know, what the variant and speeds are. There are technically three modes, the tripod being the slowest. Obviously, that's for low cinematic. Uh, if you wanted to do cinematic shots or really precision type of flying and need that high accuracy, then the standard mode, which is how it comes. That's just all around good flying. I do notice that the full throttle in that thing is roughly the same as DJI Mavic in uh, tripod mode. So that's kind of interesting. And obviously uh, sport mode. I just you primarily use that to get from point A to point B if it's like farther than uh, 200 feet just so that I can I don't know if it really uses less battery or not to get there faster but uh, just pulling in I think what I'm gonna do is launch from here the batting cage here and then go all the way down to the end of the park where you see right before the gate and I think I'll use that as the limit as far as today's test I'm gonna be doing two runs each going forward and back that will be considered uh, two runs because I want to go downwind or upwind. If there is any wind, it looks like there's not any. So, yeah, let's go test that out right now. Oh, I should have worn shoes. It's kind of wet. Should have bought my launch pad. Yeah, that's this looks about right. I think I can get. I think I can get to top speed, going from here all the way to down there. I should be okay. So. Yeah, let's get all situated. The spark, let's make sure we take off the cover. Got my remote here and OTG cable. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I, I kind of switched over. I found this really cool one. It's micro USB to micro USB, similar to what you find in the DJI Mavic. So this has been really a uh, time saver as well as it's not in my way. So um, yeah, I'll leave a description on the link below check that out and finally my phone it's interesting this thing has a notch on the outside here so it puts in with the uh, you can actually put it on the slot here all right all situated okay let's let's take this puppy on the road okay. all right. okay we're all situated let's uh, take off I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly roughly about 10 feet and then um that way we don't have to deal with any of the uh, ground effects or anything like that. So let's fly it at the slowest mode here. We'll, we'll set it at the tripod mode. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. Tripod mode, we're going once. I might just do this halfway because it's not um, going any faster. So we're looking about 2.2 2 to 2.5 miles an hour. Not very exciting. Let's just turn around halfway because it's not gonna get any faster than this. Oops, it's going down. Oops. Let's get back to 10 feet. And you see me, so let's come back. 
Again, not even windy. And it looks like it's topping out at about 2.5 miles an hour. Let's turn around again. Not very exciting here. Okay, again about 10 feet. We're gonna go down, start heading down. I'm gonna, not gonna go that far because it seems to be capping out at 2.3. Yeah, and then, I mean, it does a really good job of keeping its rate, so, uh, like I said, look, even pan is fairly slow. I wish it was, there was still 60 frames per second. Let's move forward again. Coming back. Okay, there we are. 2.5 at the highest, and it's super bright right now. Let's, uh, let's reduce that. Okay. So now we're at, um regular normal mode and then I'm gonna just try to bring it all the way down as fast as possible or you know fly down and see where I cap out at so we're looking at about six miles an hour I think it's gonna yeah six six to 6.5 I think that's good enough let's turn around obviously look uh, as you can see the it's uh, much faster Turning around, let's go a little bit lower, and then let's go again, come back. Yep, about six miles an hour, let's go again, down. Seems to have picked up some wind, uh, I don't see any, but yeah, again, about six point. Uh, 6.5 to 7, maybe at a good end. Let's turn around, come back. And again, we're looking at 6.6, 6 .6, roughly about there. So between 6 and 7. Um, all right, and for the final mode, we're going to go to sport mode and uh, see how fast it goes here. It should haul pretty fast. So about 30. Yeah, 30. Okay. Let's turn around. Woo! Super quick. Yep, so looking about 30. Uh, let's bring it back here. All right, one more run. Again, this is full throttle. Uh, all my runs have been full throttle, basically pushing forward on the Ford joystick only releasing right as I come to an end uh, ooh. hey hey oh wait no okay a dog has uh, come by me I'm hey oh wait <laughs> And I think that concludes today's test, so... Okay, overall, not a bad run, guys. Hopefully this dog doesn't attack me. dog is still following me I'm not sure we don't have rabies in Hawaii so I don't have to worry about anything I'm just not sure whose dog this is so um, yeah poor dog it's lost God. 
back in my car. All right, guys, just made it back. What did I find out? We did four passes. So I took a look at the footage, I, and I just wrote down uh, the highest um, observed flight speed on the as far as the footage goes the slowest mode the tripod mode uh, what you're looking at is roughly about 2.5 miles an hour at the highest the average top speed that's what I'm going for average top speed again uh, full forward throttle and then uh, stick going forward uh, standard mode where where the remote is just here at the normal option uh, what you're looking at is roughly about 6.5 miles an hour that's not bad. It's actually, uh, as mentioned earlier, I, I think that's the same speed at the tripod mode as a DJI Mavic. Finally, at the top end speed, the sport mode, it's um, five times that speed. So we're talking about about 30.5 miles an hour at the top end. From this non-scientific experiment, um, again, I was just looking at forward speeds. I didn't look at lateral, left to right. If you're doing any intricate maneuvers, you're going through trees, fly low, I highly would recommend flying at the tripod mode. The sensitivities are really low, which means you shouldn't see that much jerkiness. All ba you just need to practice as well if you're still getting jerky movements. The next flight mode was the standard mode. That's just an all around good mode. I think it's just at the right speed to give you confidence as a beginner to fly and try different modes manually. It is sensitive, so if you're just moving your joysticks maybe a meter, uh, a millimeter or two, um, it'll react to that. So again, it, it, it still has the safety features on, your uh, full front sensor is on, your underbody carriage sensor is on, so you, you're pretty safe. And then finally, sports mode, the, you know, the wild child of this, does fly 30 miles an hour. You're talking FPV racer type speeds. Everything is heightened on there. Uh, do keep in mind that it does lock out the the one axis of the gimbal you can still go up and down like this and it'll try to level at times but no it's you know just strictly for fun i don't fly in this mode too often just because the front sensor is not on it's just meant to haul to make sure that you get to your destination that's what i use it primarily for anyway i just want today i just wanted to focus on uh, average top speeds for the different modes for the DJI Spark. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you guys did, if you guys like what I showed today, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd like to know what flight mode you guys usually fly at and how you guys use each one. I'm really interested uh, to hear from anybody who's in an FPB racer. What do you guys think about the Spark? Yes, I know you, uh, a lot of you guys will say it's garbage, but it, can you use this as a racer? And if so, uh, what would DJI need to do to make this a um, a good training racer just leave a comment below uh subscribe to my channel guys if you guys already haven't done so uh, i do thank you guys for the support tuning in uh listening in on uh, my tech reviews as an aerial tips that i've been giving i do want to continue to bring this kind of content to you guys i would appreciate it if you guys recommended my channel to other people have them go check it out and finally top priority when flying one of these drones so fly safe and mahalo plenty